Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 72 of the Diary of Sia Naz. So as you can see, if you're watching on YouTube, I've got a new background. This one is a silver background and it looks like I've got the North Star next to me. Um, this actually isn't the one that I ordered. This was the one they sent me by mistake and I did say to them, this isn't the one that I was after and they tried to offer me a $2 refund and I'm like, no, I really want the one that I was after, but this one's turned out to be really quite nice. I've actually put a horizontal, it's, it's supposed to be, um, that star is supposed to be right at the top and this back bit is supposed to be on the bottom, but I thought it might look nicer, long ways, this way horizontal, so uh, it's worked out quite well, but I really want the, the one that I ordered, so they said they're going to try and source it because as I was saying last week, these are double the price now, so I'm not accepting a $2 refund, that's ridiculous, they can source one and send me the correct one. So that's the little drama with the background. And then the other little drama was putting makeup on today. As you can see, I look very tanned, um, mainly because of the foundation that I use. I do a few shades darker because the lighting really makes me look quite pale and I'm pale as it is. So I think because of the silver background, it's sort of enhancing the color of my skin. So you kind of see that I am looking a bit darker and the contouring I've gone above and beyond today because I was using the um, the Dragon Beauty. This isn't new, but um, I don't use it often. The Dragon Beauty, I'm trying to get it so there's no um, halo light on there, but th um, I'm just gonna have to show you like that. That's the Dragon Beauty palette that Nikita Dragon put out. The problem with the palette is that as you can see from here, it's either too light or it's too dark. And um, this one is a little too dark and I've tried to um, blend it down with a lighter one. I'm actually in the middle, so it's hard to get it right because my foundation is quite sticky. So as soon as I put on this dark one, which is called Surge, it really sticks. And then I have to put on Femme, the lighter one, um, to sort of uh, tone it down. So that's why you can see I'm quite contoured. Um, yeah, it, it's okay, but it's it, the colours are not they're not universal. So she would have been better off doing ones like Kim Kardashian's got light, medium, and dark. I mean, I got all all of the contouring palettes, but I find that the medium one, the one in the middle, is the one that suits me most. And if I need some extra colour, I can do a little bit of the dark, but I don't always. So. That is the other drama, so <laughs> um, let's get on with the week. So the week started on Monday the 18th of May and on Monday, as I do every Monday, I edited, uploaded and promoted my podcast. Um, I made a B called If and it was messy and I almost gave up because I was trying to do the drum beats, I was trying to make the drum beat myself. So the snare on its own, the hi-hat on its own, um, and the 808, and to make it myself individually, but it always comes out really messy. And then I just found some um, drum breaks and I dropped those in, and then I just got rid of the the beats, the, um, the snare and the hi-hat that didn't work, and the kick as well. So I was trying to make the whole beat on my own. It just takes practice. Um, so as I'm looking down, I'm looking at my purple fluffy llama diary and um, yeah, it just takes practice. It's a bit of a slow, <laughs> a slow dopey beat and it's, there's a lot of bass in it, there's fullness in it and um, once I make a beat, um, when I try to change it, nothing sounds right so I've got to stick with the instruments that I'm using. So I've just got to um, rearrange them until they sound like what um, what I think would be a decent beat. So this one isn't one of my better ones, but it's good enough, <laughs> so it's going up. And um, the hook uh, and the verse have got two different drum beats, but the... Um, have two different drum breaks, but the other drums are pretty much similar so when you listen to it it changes once you get to the chorus and it's a bit more upbeat 
Um, and it's a bit bright and it's got the bass is like a buzz. And I thought maybe that was a problem. And then I was listening to some other beats and I noticed they kept it. So I thought, oh, why not? So I kept that buzzy bass in there. So that's in there. So it's an interesting beat. Um, and also on Monday, I got four different backgrounds and it's uh, three different hanging lights. So over the next few weeks, you'll see new, new backgrounds with new hanging lights. And I got one yellow one and it's really poor quality. I don't like it at all. I haven't um, contacted them, but I'm going to let them know that it's not very good quality. And I paid a lot of money for it too. And on Monday, um, like as I was saying last week, we installed a gate with my sister. And on Monday, I painted it and it took me four hours because it's a lattice gate. So painting front and back took me forever. But um, I managed to finish it. There's only one section I have to do, but um, there's a tree behind it and it's just a bit difficult to get there so i'm just gonna wait for a, a good day and just try to get in and do that little section there but otherwise it's all pretty much done so that was monday and then on tuesday i finished my makeup course um which is uh, a makeup course for everyday women and it just had some um, really good makeup tips in there which i really enjoyed doing and on Monday, I sat at the computer because I really wanted to finish it. And it took me five hours. It took me ages. And um, I managed to finish it, so I'm really proud of that. But I've got um, a few more courses that I still need to do, so I've got to get on to those. I edited the video podcast on Tuesday as well. And I also promoted, there's this awesome finger drummer called Nali. I've never heard of finger drumming either, but I've, um, I've been following her for a little while and she's absolutely awesome. And I noticed that she's doing um, finger drumming lessons. So I put a post up on my Insta and um, she saw that and she said thank you. So that was really nice. I um, also promoted a few different female artists as well and a bit disappointing to see that they haven't, you know, contacted to say hi or thanks. I mean, not that I should expect it, but they don't have a, a large following at all, so they would have seen that I'd done that, so that was a bit disappointing. But I'm still going to promote um, songs that I like, so check out those two um, songs that um, I've recommended. So that was on Tuesday and then on Wednesday, Wednesday I tried to upload the podcast and it took forever. It took me four hours and I don't know why the computer was going so slow, but um, today um, I bought some uh, trap packs, sample packs, and it took hours where normally it would take a couple of minutes for each one to download. It took two Two packs took about three hours to download, one and a half hours each. I don't know what's going on with my laptop and I don't like it and I hope it's not going to continue because I do not have money to fix this laptop at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I posted something about that. That was really annoying. I also watched the last two episodes of The Last Dance on Wednesday, so um, The Last Dance, the Michael Jordan and Chicago Bull story. So it's um, really silly that everything that happened, they could have gone for, you know, Michael Jordan was saying at least another year, but, you know, management's ego just destroyed the Chicago Bulls and now they're nowhere. So, you know, they've only got themselves to blame. Um, yeah, so once I uploaded the podcast, just backtracking a little, I promoted it as well and that all takes, that took forever, that took like half the day, that was, I don't know what happened. So that was Wednesday, let me see, what else does he say, oh on Wednesday I also got a new peach background, it's a vintage wallpaper, I didn't think it was going to be peach, I thought it might be another pinky colour, but it's a peach one so that'll be going up over the next few weeks and on Wednesday as always, um, before all the shutdowns happened, I used to go to my sister's for dinner on Wednesday. So I've started that again. So that's really nice um, to go over and chat with my sister and my brother-in-law and, and play with my nephew. So that's really nice. So that was on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, where is it? 
on Thursday. Let me have a look for it. Oh, here it is. On Thursday, I've got um, a beauty uh, Instagram uh, account, uh, Sia's Beauty World, and this Australian um, makeup artist called Liz Jones followed me and I checked out her um, profile and it turns out she's a makeup artist and she's um, put out a, um, a kit, a little makeup kit, so I thought I'd get one. And this is the kit here, that's the box. This one is the bronze, so she's got bronze every day and bronze every day. And there's another one as well, I can't remember now. So I got the bronze kit. It looks like this. It's like um, glasses, bronze face. There's bronze every day, and I can't remember what the other one is. And inside it tells you what everything is. And what happened was uh, everything, uh, the gold eyeshadow broke, and it went over all the kit and made an absolute mess. So, um, let me see. There's the kit there. So it's got like mascara, pencil, um, lip gloss, eyeshadow, um, some concealer under your eyes and a bronzer. And it's pretty awesome. The only problem is that the gold eyeshadow has gone into everything, so it's kind of tainted everything. Um, the small brush is cute but it's absolutely useless for bronzer so that's a waste but the eyeshadow is really nice it's quite creamy and the lip gloss is it gives you a nice shine but it's very sticky and um, the eye pencil I found it doesn't make your eyes <laughs> it just made my eyes gray um, so that wasn't that wasn't good um, I've only used it once. I haven't used the mascara yet. I've got incredibly sensitive eyes, so I haven't tried the mascara yet. I haven't decided. I think I might give it to my sister. Because um, I'm not too happy that it broke. And she doesn't mind. Like, she doesn't use a lot of makeup, so I'll be giving that to her. So, um, check her out anyway. Liz Jones. And um, if you check her Instagram, her... Uh, a lot of her clients are high profile Australian celebrities so yeah check that out. Uh, also started making a beat called Shady and um, it's just called Shady because of one of the samples that I've used in there and um, I can't remember much about the beat now, I forgot to look it up. Uh, I also started my entrepreneur course and this is good for my invention um, because the course is helping me do a business plan and this is really good um, it, because it's clarifying everything that I need to do which is which has been incredibly helpful I didn't think it would be helpful at all but um, doing the business plan is is working um, but it's taking me a while to do because there's a lot of questions that you've got to think about and I've sort of come and gone um, back and forwards to it but I want to finish uh, the business plan off uh, next week and then continue on with the course because I don't want to just do every chapter and then not do any of the homework so um, I'm going to finish that next week that'll be really helpful and on Thursday as always I do the grocery shopping so that was Thursday that was a busy day and then on Friday, I met with a new designer. So I went down there and we had a meeting um, because my prototype, the, the invention that I've um, designed was only halfway there. The first designers I used just gave up and I needed somebody to finish. And, you know, it's really disappointing when, you know, they're supposed to be professional and they just give up. That He just couldn't be bothered even from the start. It's like, all oh, right, you know, we can help you. And he was talking like that. So I should have known from the start not to go there. So anyway, I had to find someone new and I went through a whole lot of hell to find these new people and um, I had a meeting with them on Friday and discussed with them where I wanted to go with it 
um, what needed to be done. So we're continuing on. So let's see how long this lasts. And then after this, I go to the manufacturer and then get the manufacturer to make a prototype for me. And then I have to figure out um, where I'm going to find the money to put my invention, um, to, to make my invention and to order stock and then to, um, I still haven't figured out how I'm going to sell it. I think I'll just do like a Shopify store, which is what Kylie and... Kim Kardashian and all them I've got there or just Shopify stores so I just do one of those stores and then um, get beauty influencers to uh, promote it and just go that way so I'm hoping that that's gonna work um, so I've sort of got things figured out but um, yeah step by step um, that was another thing the designer on Friday wanted to talk to me about he just wanted to figure out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. So I told him, okay, <laughs> I'll get back to you. So Friday, and then Friday also my nephew came over and I babysat him. And then I continued the entrepreneur course and the business plan on Friday. So Thursday I pretty much breezed through like three chapters of the course. And then on Friday, I hit, I hit the fourth chapter, which is a business plan, and that sort of stopped me cold for the moment. And um, I've just got to get my butt into gear, so next week I'll work on that. So Saturday, I did nothing because I was really tired, and I was just kind of over everyone and everything. <laughs> and then on Sunday, um, I went back to the B if and I mixed it and I changed the bass because as I said it was buzzing but then I realized other beat makers have um, left that in so I kept it and just sort of finessed the sound a bit. Um, also I started a beat called News but I might change it to What's the News and um, finish that off so that should be good so the beat shade is going to be really cool. I'm, I'm just stuck on the hi-hats though um, because the I've got two different, I've got hi-hats and snares, but it's not settling. So um, just need to figure out how to fix those. And then I don't know if I want to put new ones or if I want to keep it. It kind of sounds a bit daggy, but it just needs to be slow and I've tried heaps of other packs and um, today I bought like 10 different packs of um, trap uh, um, trap um, sample packs and trap snares and trap um, hi-hats and just to help me find something that's decent but then I just kind of got a bit overwhelmed with it so <laughs> Um, I just left it, so I'll um, get back to it next week. Um, just sort of clear my mind with the beat and then just start again and, and see what I want to do. Um, also went um, on Saturday, I was watching, was it Saturday or Friday? I was watching Jamie Oliver and he made his daughter a birthday cake and it was a heart-shaped tin. And I thought, I want to get a heart-shaped tin. So I had to go all the way to Box Hill and I ended up going to another suburb, but they didn't have it. So then I had to go from that suburb all the way to Box Hill. And that's where I found it. And it took me half an hour to drive there. So it took me about 20 minutes to get to this suburb. And then it took me another 35 minutes to get to Box Hill. So it was a long way from home. Um, and I ended up getting the um, the tin, so it's a bit smaller than what Jamie Oliver has. Like Jamie Oliver's one is twenty eight centimeters, mine is twenty two, so it's a bit smaller. But hopefully it'll be all right. The cake will just rise. I guess it'll just be a fuller cake. And I'm gonna make that on Wednesday when I go to my sister's for dinner, so that should be nice. And yeah, just bought a ton of trap sample packs, and. Um, uh, if you look in the description below of um, the uh, even the iTunes or any ones that you listen to audio or if you have a look at the um, YouTube 
video, there's um, a link there from Prime Loops, which is where I get uh, like 90% of my packs. If you click on that link and buy a pack, I get a commission. So um, that's handy for me so I can keep buying more packs and get better at this um, beat making. So that's pretty much it for the week. Um, it's been a bit of a busy week with um, the designer and the courses and beat making. So I want to get into the habit of trying to make a few more beats. Like one beat a week is not enough. And uh, I do have a lot on my plate with my family and a whole lot of other issues. So, But I want to try and keep making a few more beats and um, get better at it and then I want to get back to songwriting which is what I really love and I think is my strong point and get back to the beats um, get back to songwriting and putting out um, songs again so that's the goal so yeah as I said that's it for this week please share with your friends or someone you think would like to hear or see this podcast um, subscribe, like, share, leave comments, nice comments, please. Um, keep an eye on your mental health. If you need help, call Lifeline or Beyond Blue. The numbers are in the description below. Um, yeah, speak to your GP. Keep in contact with your friends and take care of yourselves. And the beat of the week is if. I hope you like it. Um, let me know. And I will catch you guys next week. Take care and bye.